you know, when you, like, if you, you have something that name, distinguishes yourself. Exactly. It's like, it's like naming yourself, like, blue shirt and then showing up to every tournament in a blue shirt. You know, just have something that people can recognize you from. <laughs> a, the second, like, ha have something about you, you know? Well, I hope that there is a player out there named Blue Shirt I hope that so always too. wears a blue shirt. Shoutouts to a T3 Dome at the uh, yeah, Invitational Arcadia shirt. thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, Blue Shirt guy that beat MVD. Where was that at? I was the Thunder 2 oh, Invitational. Oh, okay, yes. The uh, Dude, crew T3 battle. Dome is good. Like, T3 he Dome is. is actually good. I remember so, when, so I first, ranked. when I first met T3 Dome, I he bodied me, yeah. and I was like, do I just suck? <laughs> 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 no, that guy's actually good. I but, okay, Fro, you bringing out the low tier. We got a, well, quote, low tier. Uh, I, Incineroar. And he starts it Man. off with a taunt in Joker's face. Joker not really punishing him. Right now, we're still sitting at 0%. One of them has to hit each other, and it will be Joker drawing first blood here. This is actually going to be sort of interesting as far as the, the matchup goes, because they both have, like, a counter that will absorb and then, um, like, essentially power themselves up. Yeah. You know, we have the Rebel Guard, which will fill the meter. And then we have the uh, Revenge from, from Incineroar. Yeah, I'm actually really curious to see how this is going to go. Because Joker, you know, even if he's taking damage, he's getting the Arsene meter up. The uh, Rebel's Gauge or something. I always forget what the name of it is. But, you know, Incineroar, one of those characters that just does a lot of damage with everything he's got. That's true. So the I'm way that Hero Boy is playing right now, he's pushing a lot of buttons. And you can see Fro is playing very patient. He does have a percent lead, and typically that will force your opponent to make the approach. But one thing that I'm not seeing from Hero Boy that I think he really should start abusing is incorporating gun. Yeah, that was my thought as well. You know, he's running into throw quite a bit, but a lot of his attacks aren't landing, you know, getting shielded or getting dodged. Mm -hmm. And then he's getting punished for it where he can be going for safe damage with things like the gun and Aga. Yeah. And at the moment, like, we haven't really seen Fro use Revenge just yet, so abuse your projectiles until he starts pushing down B. And then it's almost like now you put your opponent in a constant 50-50. Like, are you going to throw out Gun, or am I just going to bait you into using Revenge and then grab you? I'm really curious if Revenge is on Hero Boy's mind in general, and that's why he's not using Gun right now, just saying, I'd rather not use it and give him the chance to Revenge it. Oh, he just shot him once. Oh, ooh, the Dark Larry got beat by an F smash. I rarely see that move. That that move lose to uh, to others. Yeah, it definitely looked like it just barely got outranged by the forward smash, which is something a lot of moves don't do. The arms on and Sarah are pretty big, but Joker with his disjoint was able to get it. But a quick answer right there from Fro, gonna even up this game. That's right, another lariat from Fro. It's just like such a good get off me tool. And actually, I think it believe has three active hitboxes. Yeah, something like that. It's got multi-hits, so even if you shield it, it kind of pressures your shield, sometimes pokes it. All right, but now both players, we're saying, just trying to poke each other out. These photos for Fro are working out pretty well. Yeah, but you know it's working out pretty well as well. He's Nair's out of shield, but now our Sen is here. Oh, no, that's very dangerous. He doesn't get the punish, though. Late reaction there from Hero Boy. Okay, dash attack, and that's going to put Fro off stage. Oh, okay, good recovery. Recovering high on the stage. He knows that for, um, Hero Boy was looking for like the ledge guard. I, the, la the Dark Larry right there, getting beat out by landing neutral air from Hero Boy. These uppies onto stage really not working out. You know, they're pretty laggy, and Hero Boy's not really at a danger percent to worry about them. Well, honestly, I actually kind of like the uh, uppies onto stage because it's getting him away from the ledge, which, you know, Hero oh. Boy is trying to trap him on, but what? With the, what? <laughs> So, I actually really like the play with the runoff lariat right there, just because it puts out this active hitbox in front of the tether line. But, you know, he went a little low SD'd for it. Okay, well, he did even up the stocks, and maybe that was his goal all along. Yeah, I mean, he was at a bit of a percent deficit, a percent deficit so maybe that uh, was the goal. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, down smash is going to whiff. We're going to get punished by forward air. Just the slow play coming from Fro is really coming out. And starting to push this uh, game in his favor. Okay, but Arsene is out, and you know anything's possible with Arsene. Yeah, and here uh, oh. Fro is definitely playing around it, saying, I don't want to run into Arsene. I'm very capable of just playing around these platforms and not, you know, being in your face until Arsene goes away. Okay, air dodge into the stage. Now forward air. Arsene is gone. This is going to be the opportunity Fro is looking for. Down tilt to up air. Great 
Bread and butter. All right, the gun's coming out right now. That could be big. And the dash attack killing off the top? I, that had to be, like, just some poor deal. I know that yeah. dash attack is strong. Yeah, I know. It definitely looked like the kind of thing where he thought maybe he was going to get forward thrown or something like that, so he was DIing in and went straight up with the dash attack. Yeah. <laughs> he went the wrong way. <laughs> Bit of a DI mix-up, I guess, but, you know, unfortunate for him, but Fro going to be taking game number one here. Mm -hmm. Pretty close game, honestly. Yeah. Exciting to see both these players. Um, it's really exciting just to watch players who are similarly similar or around similar caliber yeah because uh it's usually going to be a close match and i think that's what we're getting here yeah exactly you know you often tune into like these early pools expecting a wash you know mm -hmm. first see of the pools playing is round one like it, it's never very good looking but when we get a close match like this it's always a treat yeah in the spirit of competition that's what we want to see yeah exactly Makes it a lot more fun for us as well. I get to, you know, talk about some close sets and oh, actually describe what's going on. Oh, they started with the taunt. <laughs> I didn't know we still had four glory tactics. <laughs> hey, man, they don't let us taunt online anymore. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get out somewhere. And a quick side B right there. The Alolan Whip coming out for a throw. Okay. What a punch. Arsene online once again, but another Darkest Lariat. Man, just use it until you lose it. Yeah, that's really been the name of the game here for Fro, just saying, I'm going to throw these moves out because I know if I keep doing it, you're going to be scared of them eventually, right? Mm -hmm. And when you're playing a grappler like uh, like Incineroar, you know, fear is one of your best tools. You know, you're scaring them into shield, and then that Alolan Whip can just kill them. That's true. Okay, well, Revenge is going to get punished by an up air. Try to go for the command grab. Not going to work. Before it does connect, and here we go back to the Les Trap game. Oh, expecting a jump. And Revenge gets beaten out by Yeeha. All right, another neutral be here for Fro. Putting him on the ledge, and that's going to be the kill. You have Lariat to kills are my favorite type of kills from, from Cinderor. Yeah, the Alolan Whip is such a good tool to cover the le uh, ledge getup options. It has armor, so it beats getup attack. You can space it from a distance to punish both the roll. And uh, neutral gap, and then it has a lasting hitbox as well that sometimes gets jumped. So you have to kind of just hold ledge and respect it sometimes. Okay, well, right there, Hero Boy holding the down B for a little bit longer. We've uh, been seeing him use the Rebel Guard, but as soon as he sees that he didn't connect to anything, he's been letting go. But right there, he did the mix up, held the button a little bit longer, got meter, and guess what? Arsen is out. Yeah, and we're just seeing Fro run away right now. Does not even want to try and combat Arsene at this high percent. As soon as he goes for a single attack, he gets punished with a back air and a dash check, and that's his stock. He was playing it so well up until the very end of Arsene. Yeah, and I like the ledge trap that Hero Boy went for because he went down, dropped down, and we've been seeing Hero Boy do that quite a bit. So it put uh, Fro in a situation where he was just going to recover high, and Hero Boy scouted that out. Perfect trap. I am running into the Lariat once again. You have to respect it's got a hitbox the entire time. Oh, jamming the wrong wave. <laughs> okay, Ed Tilt, now Hero Boy off stage. Hero Boy at a very high percent. These Lariats are going to be quite a threat. Yeah, but I like the get up into the shield. Knows that it has a hitbox the whole time and respects it, but back air will be enough to take that shot. Okay, down tilt. Big combo. That's right. 40% and even and he landing jumped, with the Lariat. He jumps right into it, and that's already our set on this last stock, but he's still just losing these interactions. Yeah, you can see. Feels like Hero Boy's getting a little frustrated. Is that frustrated. it? That might be it. 83%, and that will be enough. Mini fist bump right there from Fro oh, says, I pop did pop. it. <laughs> you know, I'm so happy to have, uh, you know, Get on the stream and manage to take my set two to zero. You know, that's got to feel good. Yeah, you did.